In this tutorial, I will discuss the tools which are not included in Corel Draw X7 but now available in Corel Draw 2020. This is the first part of the video. In Shadow tool, uh, a new tool has been added that is called Inner Shadow Tool. It is very uh, important tool because we can make a very good design by the help of this inner shadow. We can convert a simple shape to a 3D object very easily by the help of this inner shadow tool. Here are some presets. We can just select these presets and we can convert a simple shape to 3d shape this tool was not uh, included in Corel Draw x7 so this is a main difference The next tool is uh, Add Perspective. In Corolla X7, it was available only for vectors, but now we can adjust uh, an image very easily to a box by the help of this Add Perspective tool. We have just to drag the nodes and it will be adjusted to the box very easily. Here is a 3D box and how easily we can adjust this flower to the three dimension of this box. Just copy this object and now drag these nodes and you can see that how easily we are adjusting this this picture to the box so this was not this facility was not available in Corel Draw X7 and now in Corel Draw 2020 it is available in Corel Draw X7 it was available only for vectors After perspective, we can adjust the size. You can see that how easily we have made it. The next tool is a knife tool. Uh, the knife tool was available for vectors in Corel Draw X7, but now we can apply the effects of knife tool to the images and bitmaps also. You can see that how easily we selected the knife tool and then apply the effects to a bitmap. All the functions that were available for uh, vector in Corel X7 are now available for bitmap and images in Corel 2020. We can select the gap option also here. Select the gap and then adjust the gap. I have chosen 15 and now you can see that it will divide the picture with the gap. By the same way we can select the freehand drawing tool freehand with the gap option. Select the freehand tool and now you can see that how easily we have converted it to to 
to this image. Here is a, a very important tool, impact tool. If you want to uh, add some impact to our image, we can select this impact tool. Now we have two options, parallel and radial. Here is a radial option. Select, we can change the properties from the properties bar. The thickness of the lines and the numbers of the lines the style the colors now select the style this is the uh, radial option and now we will apply the parallel option also so just select the impact tool We have to unselect the existing impact and now select the impact tool and select the radial. Now just drag, adjust the style. Thickness and numbers of lines. Change the style of the lines, change the position of thickness on the lines from here. You can change the colors also. So, this is amazing impact tool which was not included in Codera X7. The next tool is Symmetric. Symmetry create. We have selected the symmetry and now adjust the, the numbers of symmetrical objects. I am going to include a freehand line, and you can see that this line has been drawn symmetrically. On Symmetrically it has been learned. and all the effects which are we applying we are going to applying on a one single line it is automatically applied to all the objects now copy and adjust the line the, the, the position of this line and size of this line and other surrounding lines will be adjusted automatically now I have to add just one single star and it will be adjusted automatically to the whole object symmetrically. Now add a circle and you can see that this circle will be added to all the sides automatically because we have selected the symmetry tool. Now we can finish symmetrical work and then after that here are option edit, break link, remove. If we click on remove, If we click on edit, we can edit the symmetry and after that we can click on finish. Now remove the, you can see that only those objects we have drawn are showing after removing and after breaking the link. Now it is not a symmetrical object, it is an independent object and we can ungroup it and make changes to individually to every object so this was symmetrical tool and now black shadow this is also very important tool by the help of uh, this tool we can easily add a shadow to our object
we can change the black shadow style here are several styles and options available on the properties bar we can change the size of the shadow we can adjust the direction of the shadow 